Today I'm gonna to redesign a website in Figma and let you follow along. Let's take a look. This is the website for City Church Tallahassee. I'm only gonna redesign the hero section, but I'll give you a brief preview of the rest of the site. So, I think the website is decent, but I think there are a couple of things that are missing. What I like about the site is the video background. I like that it's genuine and there are real people at the church. Um, I also like that they show times and services because this is something that I would look for if I was looking on a church website. So I like that they put this up top. A couple of things that I think could be uh, improved are the messaging. There really isn't much messaging outside of this really small text here. I think the video takes up too much space. Um, and I also think that there should be a place to watch the latest message or the latest service that they had. And the only, the only way you can do that right now is by clicking onto this YouTube channel. I'm also probably gonna add a, a way to showcase like notifications or basically recent events up on the top here. So that's an, another thing that I'll probably fix. So let's hop into Figma here. I've got my assets up here. Here are the colors. Let's start out by changing the background color. I'm gonna use a cream color because I think that goes a little bit better with this dark green city church color. And I'm gonna go ahead and start out by getting the nav bar all set up. Not sure how big I want this logo, but we'll start with that for now. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a heading and we'll say experience the gospel in Tallahassee. And I don't think this is the, the font that they're using, but I'm just gonna use this font because I like it. And we'll say 100 pixels and then maybe make it a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna do, I, I thought about doing a video in the, the middle here, having this header be in the, the center and then having a video right below it. I think I'm gonna do left and right and then I'm gonna do some grid boxes. Um, so we'll start with this and then I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate it and move it up a little bit. And we'll put City Church Tallahassee so people know what church it is right off the bat. Um, cause I don't think there, that was on the current website. There's nothing about Tallahassee. So I think that should be up there and then I'll probably make it 50% or so just so it's not as bold. Okay. I like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this video in here. So let's go ahead and slide it down. I'm just making a, a rough layout right now. I'll probably need to make some tweaks. I think it's going to go about half half screen. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make some grid lines. It's, this can be overdone. Um, so I don't want to, I don't want to overdo it, but I do like it in this circumstance just to kind of separate some of the messaging. So I'm going to go ahead and make it black and then 30% opacity. And then I'm also going to go ahead and make it go um, not only horizontal, but also vertical. So I'll put a couple more up here and then we'll say about 120 from the outside. So right now, okay, so that's about good. And then this should be 120 from the top. So there we go, that's good. And then I'll center this real quick. Okay, and then I'll also make these 30% opacity. Great, okay. What I want to do is I want to kind of put this up on the corner so it's perfectly aligned and then I want to keep it in the center there. Okay, and then I'll also put another grid underneath. So I'm gonna copy this one and put it right here so it's lined up and then this should be centered. I think it's a little bit tall right now so I'll skinny it up a little bit. So it's not taking up so much room because we've got a bit of information that we also need to add to the rest of the page, about so. Okay, I like that. And let me go ahead and duplicate this. And I'm just gonna make a real quick nav bar. So we'll say Sundays. Okay, I like how this is looking so far. I'm also gonna add another grid down below here. And what I'm gonna put here is a little bit more messaging. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate this grid, but I'm not gonna have it go all the way to the top. I'm just gonna have it start right here. Okay, so on this left side over here, what I want to add is um, just a little welcome message. We've already got our headline and I want the welcome message just to give them a little bit more information. So we'll do, about so, might make some tweaks, but 
I like how that's looking so far. And then on this left side, so I mentioned I wanted a, a way to showcase uh, current or past messages. I don't know if they do live streaming, but um, if they, I, I do know that they have videos on their YouTube channel of past messages. So I want them to be able to see what the current series is and then click into that if they want to. So I'm gonna add that right here. We'll say current series. Okay, and I'm kind of going a little quick here, but that's okay. And then we'll say watch online. And then we'll add a polygon here. And I'm not sure why Figma does this. I just want to copy the just the triangle. Okay. That looks pretty good. And then we'll say, make it the same color. Okay, get that lined up. And then I'll have a little box that they can click. And then same thing. Okay, and 50%, nice. Okay, it looks pretty good. I think it's a little bit bigger than I wanted it to be, but it's not the end of the world. All right, so let's go ahead. Oh, I could I could play around with this forever, but I won't for your sake. Okay, let's make it just a little bit smaller. Let's say 18 pixels. Okay, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next one. So I like how this is looking. Um, what do we need next? I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bit more bold. Let's say black for now. I don't know if I'm going to keep that. Maybe I make it bold. Let's go ahead and add that top messaging up top. So I don't know how big I want it. Maybe about so. And it's just going to be a plain dark green color, I think. So We'll use this color. I don't even know if I want to use that lighter green color. Um, but let's go ahead and say, um, say there's like an announcement for a missions trip or something like that. Let's go ahead and add some text for that. And then maybe a button to be able to sign up for that missions trip. So let's go ahead and duplicate that and say, sign up. And then I'll make it 100% to show people that it's a button. And then a little line next to it to give even more confirmation that it is a button. Give it an arrow. I probably would make something custom here if this was for a client, but just for simplicity and time's sake, I'm just gonna keep it like this. So boom, we've got a little announcement banner up top. Center it, good. Now, they also have a way to, or they have just, they have give here, uh, just as part of their nav menu. I kind of want to give a special section for that because I want people to be able to find that right away and not have to search through their entire website to find it and then realize it it's just up on the nav bar. So there are a couple ways we can go about it. I could do outline. I'm going to try this yellow color. I hope it's not too in your face because I don't want it to be, but I also want it to be so that people can find it. So um, I found this icon, I don't remember where I found it, maybe on material icons, material design icons, and then I'll have a, a quick give button. And we'll say give. I kind of like it. Um, yeah, I, I think I like it. I'm gonna keep that for now. I could, no, I don't like that. So I think I'll either do this yellow or I would make it an outline black, but I, I, I like the yellow for now, so I'm gonna keep it. Um, I also wanna add some icons or some Facebook, Twitter, other social media icons. And the where I'm gonna put that is right about here, just right next to it. I don't usually add these up top, but it seems that they want them up top. So I'm assuming if I they were my client, they'd probably ask for this. So I'm 
kind of going to pretend that they are my client and I'll put them right here and I'll just stack them right on top of each other. Okay, X and then Instagram. And then I'll also center this once I'm done. There really is a, uh, it, it can be difficult to put a lot of information in a little space because you can, you can overdo it really quickly. And I don't like to do that. Um, but I just, there just wasn't any information really outside of the time of the services. So uh, I felt like we could get more done in less space. So I like how this is looking. And then what I would do, so this is probably about the hero section. This is where the fold would end. If I were to continue, I'd probably put the services. In fact, I might actually put the services up here and then move this down. I don't know. Well, let me try to put the, the services right here. So I think maybe this goes to like 30. Come join us on Sunday. And then maybe what I put over next to it is the the times of the services. So we'll say 830. And I want these to be bold or just regular. So we'll say 830. What is the other ones? 10 and 11.30. Okay, that looks decent. And then probably put a little outline box around it. We'll say 50%. And then I'll make them round. Okay, I think that looks good. And then I'll also just kind of separate them a little bit. Okay, I'm, these are not exact. Again, I'm just kind of working here for time's sake so you guys don't have to sit here for three hours watching me redesign this. Um, and then we'll say same thing here, 50%, and we'll put that right in the middle of these two. And then here to kind of separate them out. And I think that looks pretty good. Might need a little bit more space. But overall, I think it looks good. And I think things things are separated. Um, there, there's not too much information. And I think it's separated well enough to, to the point where it's not confusing. Now, on the current site, this was super confusing when I looked at it at first because we got like this yellow, this light green, and then this kind of, I don't want to say weird gradient, but it just doesn't seem like it fits in. But then I realized it's for this specific Let's Go campaign. I don't really like it. I say either go with the gradient or go with these colors, but the mixing of them just doesn't look that good. Um, but if they wanted to keep it, which I, I would assume they would, I would probably put it something like this. And here's where I would have information about this Let's Go campaign, because it does seem to be a big deal um, to with their mission and what they're doing in Tallahassee. So I'd probably put it right here. And then I'd say, uh, I don't know, join, let's go. And I might change the messaging around a little bit just to make it a little bit more clear because I'm not sure if it is clear on the current site. But so I say join, let's go, and then plop that right in here. And something like that. And then I'd have more information about the let's go campaign. So I'd probably add another grid and now I'm going way past the hero section because I can't help myself. <laughs> this is just too much fun. And then uh, probably add a couple more grids just to kind of create like thirds. And then they have the three from our, from our church for the city to the world. So I'd probably do something like this and then plop those right in here. So I'd have one, two, three, and that's probably how I go about that. So 
This looks pretty good as it is. Let's open it up and see how it looks with the video. Okay, give it a second for the video to load here. It's good, okay. It looks pretty good. Um, yeah, I mean, I like how this is looking. I, 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 I just, the video looks great. I mean, this is a great video, but it's just, it's just taking up too much space on the homepage. And uh, I think that just the space could be used a little bit better. I, I really like this give button, how it pops out. If it's not gonna be hard to find. Um, and then everything is kind of separated correctly. So we've got about double the information and it's not in your face. If, if this is or if this isn't what you wanna see, please let me know in the comments and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.